Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. So this is uh, Thursday's Literacy Lesson and as you probably have guessed, we're carrying on writing our wishing story. So today we're going to have a go at writing the next two um, paragraphs. So we'll have a look. So this is the next paragraph then and in this paragraph um, our character goes back and um, starts the wish. So we're going to start off with a nice printed adverbial. So remember my story was about Joey and um, I'm going to say it's in later evening I'm going to put when Joey returned from school. Right there. Um, so we've got later evening as Jack slept. So we've got uh, two almost, haven't we? So when Joe returned from school, um, whilst his mom was doing the washing, um, Joey raced upstairs and retrieved the instructions from his pocket. Okay, so that's my first sentence done. So when Joey returned from school, whilst his mum was doing the washing, see, I put Joey twice there, haven't I? When Joey returned from school, whilst his mum was doing the washing, Joey raced upstairs. So I need to use a pronoun there to avoid repetition. There you go. When Joey returned from school, whilst his mum was doing the washing, he raced upstairs and retrieved the instructions from his pocket. These are now the instructions. These are what he did. He um, rubbed his hands together three times and then patted his head whilst um, reciting his wish. Okay, so that's what he needs to do to do his wish. Now we've got a bit of a consequence. So, outside a squally wind howled, inside nothing happened. Bitterly, she tossed a ticket into the bin. So, Joey heard a faint humming noise in his ears. It soon faded and left him in. So when Joe returned from school, whilst his mum was doing the washing, he raced upstairs and retrieved the instructions from his pocket. Firstly, he rubbed his hands together three times and then patted his head whilst reciting his wish. Joey heard a faint humming noise in his ears, which soon faded and left him in silence. So now we need to put how he felt because he thought the wish would have happened. So, um, miserably. Joey um, screwed up the instructions and tossed them into the bin. So that's our first paragraph of today done. So uh, you can pause me now and I want you to write um, the paragraph that tells me that your main character now, um, like, now wishes for what they want in whatever way that you um, outlined in your story earlier on. Um, and then I want you to tell me that nothing much happened. Off you go and then we'll carry on. So the next day the wind died down to a cool whispering breeze. Jack prepared for his early morning walk with hope. Pulling his woolen hat firmly down over his ears, he called out to Sarah that he wouldn't be long. He wouldn't be out long and left. Sarah scowled, she could barely respond. So this is where now, this is where something starts to happen, isn't it? Okay, so um, remember in my story, my wish that was that mum would disappear so she wouldn't stop fussing and interrupting the television. So another fronted adverbial tells us what, where, when this is happening. So when Joey was watching the television the next morning,
his mom was busily unloading the uh, washing machine. Putting the um, wet clothes into a basket, she um, called. She um, I like I like called out from that paragraph. She called out to Joey that she was going to hang the washing out. was outraged. Another program interrupted, almost how she could never spell interrupted, there we go, by his mum. When Joey watched the television the next morning, his mum was busy, uh, busily unloading the washing machine. Putting the wet clothes into a basket, she called out to Joey that she was going to hang the washing out. Joey was outraged. Another program interrupted by his mum. And we're going to leave it there today. So just to recap, Ben, you need to have written a paragraph that tells me um, that he that they try the wish out again. And then what happens um, or that nothing happens. And then um, we need to start um, talking about the fact that something does happen, doesn't it? So in the model text. Remember, Sarah wishes that Jack um, disappeared and the house was nice. And in my story, Joe wishes that his mum disappeared. So that's when um, things start to be put into motion. OK, so don't forget to email me your um, paragraphs. I'm really enjoying reading them and I can't wait to see the finished stories. Um, come back tomorrow and we'll carry on. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.